Hi everyone, my name is Matt. Welcome to my shop. Today is April 14th, 2014, and this is my weekly shop update. So before I get started today, I just wanted to say a quick thank you to all those who left comments on my last video. I really appreciate those, and I'd also like to say welcome to all my new subscribers. Alright, so let's get into it. So look what finally came today. That's right. Domino finally came. It came earlier today. UPS dropped it off. I haven't uh, done anything with it yet. Just took it out of the, just took it out of the box. Um, kind of admired it for a bit. The guys over at Toolnut also sent me this T-shirt as well. So thanks to them for the for the shirt, and thanks again to them for resolving this so quickly and painlessly. Obviously, mistakes happen, so I'm not upset about that. They they did a great job resolving the problem. That's where you really get to see um, the customer service side of the places you buy your stuff from. All right, so this week. My wife and I, we finished up our little bench. You can see it over here. I'll move the camera so you guys can take a better uh, better look. All right, so here's the completed bench. Um, it's got two drawers. Still have to put some pulls on it, but it's got two drawers um, here for storing. Uh, we're going to put blankets and, and things in this. It's going to go at the end of our bed. So we're going to put some extra blankets in the drawers and it's a nice little sitting area. Um, it does have this, um, this edging on it, so you could put uh, a cushion or some pillows in here as well. So it'll be a nice little sitting area. Be a good place to put your socks on in the morning. So we finished up the bench this weekend. We were out here for a few hours uh, on Saturday and Sunday, and we got it all done. It was a lot of fun for both of us to be out here and very rewarding. Uh, it was a lot of fun to go through the project and solve problems together, and for me to be able to teach her how to put together something like this. Although it is simple, it's not something that someone that just off the street could just do. Uh, the interesting thing, or like the thing that made us laugh the most, is the the plans for this bench on on Anna White's website are not. Uh, I don't want. I don't want to say they're not good, but they're not. They're clearly not geared towards someone who's never built anything before. Uh, there's a lot of a lot of steps in there where there's like, put this on. Well, if someone's never built anything before, they're gonna wonder, well, how do they expect to attach this piece? Uh, for instance, they tell you to just attach these side pieces. They don't tell you how. Obviously, you could probably figure out that since you've been using pocket screws and finish nails the whole time, you probably want to use pocket screws to attach those, but they never make mention of how you actually attach those pieces. So I think those extra details would be really helpful if someone just getting into the project. The other thing we noticed when we went through the project is that they're... Um, their lumber list or the things that your your shopping list of things you're supposed to buy to do the project was not accurate or I had a few inconsistencies um, for instance one of the pieces you're supposed to buy was a one by two they had you buy too short of a piece to get your whole project done with it and the other thing was they they omitted a I think a one by a one by three and a one by four so actually these this back rail and the side piece were all one by sixes originally, which is what I had left over from that shopping list that I ripped down to the right size. But if someone doesn't have a table saw or a way to rip down that stock, they go they'd be going back to the home center to pick up some more wood. So here it is. Hope you guys like it. Maybe you'll try something like this with your spouse. All right. So over here on the assembly table, I've been working on the the doors for my shed. I got the stock milled up this week, and I got uh, most of the joinery cut for the styles and rails. Um, on the bottom here, I have a 8-inch rail with a twin tenon on the end. And then in all of the styles, I routed, I used the router to cut all the mortises and the styles. And this, this lumber is actually really, really neat. Uh, it's uh, green ash, and like I was showing you last week, it's, I don't know, it's spalted, and it has a whole bunch of different cool colors in it and it's got some figure you can see on this side there's some figure on that side and there's some bark inclusions here and there um, overall it's actually a really cool looking piece of wood or a whole log so this log was actually in the uh, the junk log pile the last time we were uh, milling lumber um, it was just sitting out there it didn't look that great it had some mushrooms growing out of the side so I figured, why not have it quickly sawn up into slabs that I could use for these doors. And I'm really glad I did because this stuff is amazing and I think it's going to make an awesome door. Um, over here I have the panels. These are maple and I had rough milled them here. These are 13 inches wide 
and I milled these using a combination of the jointer and the hand plane. So basically your joint is wide as your joint will go. In my case that's 12 inches and then that leaves you with a little bit of a lip or a little bit of a rabbit piece here that, that you then can remove with your hand plane. So that'll get you one flat side and then you can go ahead and pass the whole thing through the planer. So on this door I have all of the tenons sized correctly so they go into the mortises and the only thing I left to do on these is clean up the shoulder area. So when I make my tenons, the first thing I do is I make it my shoulder cut on the table saw and then I come back with my dado stack and I clean out the bulk of the waist. But I don't take the dado stack all the way up to the shoulder. I leave a little bit there, maybe a 32nd of an inch that I then come back and clean up later uh, just in case because if anything is off and your dado stack touches your shoulder, well then your shoulder is all screwed up. So like this it kind of mitigates the risk a little bit for me. And this doesn't take too long to clean up, just a quick couple passes with the chisel and it's all gone. But let me put this door together so you guys can get an idea of what it looks like assembled um, because I think that's the, kind of the coolest part when you're working on a project and you finally assemble it the first time and you get to see what it's going to look like, the scale of the piece, uh, the overall composition. I think that's where the that's where the excitement lies. So let's put this together real quick and I'll talk about it a little more. Also, it's very heavy. <laughs> and it's only going to get heavier. That's the best part. So this should kind of give you an idea of what it's going to look, look like when it's done. I've got the panels laid underneath here, and I have this, um, I guess this is technically a style, I guess. Or maybe a mountain. I don't know. But i um, got all the way out here so you can kind of get an idea of what it's going to look like when it's done. Uh, again, look at this awesome. This wood is this is awesome. There's so much, so much character and a lot, a lot of cool little details to look at just in the wood alone. I think that's pretty awesome. Now, one issue I'm having uh, is up here where I'm going to put my windows. I can't decide what what kind of arrangement I want to do. Originally, I thought I would just divide it vertically into two windows, but looking at it now, I'm not sure if I want to do maybe four windows, maybe six, or uh, three. Uh, divided vertically. Um, so those are the kind of layouts I'm thinking about. Uh, maybe you guys have some some input for me. That would be great. Love to hear what you guys think. So here's that opening. Uh, let's see here. Let's grab some sticks. So here's my original plan was to just do uh, divide like that into two windows. I also thought maybe three windows. Maybe. Maybe I don't know how I feel about that. <laughs> Seeing it like this. And then obviously four windows. Another option. Um, or even six. If I put those there and then I put another stick across. It's kind of six. So. I think it's kind of like something like that. So yeah, I'm not really sure which way I want to go yet. Uh, if anyone has any feedback or maybe maybe even another arrangement, uh, let me know. I would really appreciate any, any uh, input you guys have on this. All right, so the only other update I have this week is on my secretary desk. Uh, not a whole lot of interesting things going on over there. The only thing I finished up was the rest of the, the hidden boxes. I dovetailed the other two boxes for those. So that's all for this week. If you guys have any questions or comments about anything I talked about today, anything here in my shop, please leave me a comment. I always appreciate those. Uh, and, and until next week, happy woodworking. I'll be playing with my domino.